Hi everyone, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 2. On this video we're going to be doing the mission What Goes Around. And we start it by going and talking to Uncle Mario. But before we do that, let's have a read about the mercenaries. Rebecca84, I bet you can pay those mercenaries to fight for you. Just go up and talk to them. Mercenaries were highly mobile in Renaissance Italy, moving from contract to contract. Professional captains called condotteri, usually paid for by cities, recruited men for a fixed amount of time. Many of the for hire soldiers who served in Italy were even Itali weren't even Italian, coming from places like Germany, Switzerland and Hungary. In their perpetual struggle to dominate Italy, the Italian states hired mercenaries to wage war against their Italian neighbours, and the soldiers, many of whom had no code of honour, would often rape and sack freely. When the state that was bankrolling them ran out of money, the soldiers would disband, frequently to be hired to destroy the very city that they had fought to defend. Some mercenaries were honourable, fighting for a cause they believed in, but men such as these were few and far between. Where they existed, however, they were much sought after. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Yet he troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? What goes around? Help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri da Pazzi. So the start has come to nightfall and we just follow Mario. Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack go! So, Ezio <laughs> climbs up here. And now we get the San Giamagian. I can never say this one. Named after Saint Germanius, who supposedly conjured up a dense folk to save the city of Medina from Attila the Hun, San Gimigano was founded in the 3rd century. The city grew from the 10th century onward as a stopping point along the pilgrimage route to Rome. In 1119, once its citizens grew wealthy, San Gimigano separated from the bishops of Volteria and became self-governing. The city's distinctive towers were created as its wealthy citizens competed to display how much money was actually in their pockets. In its heyday, the city had 72 towers. But a plague of 1348 decimated San Gimignano without money for upkeep. The town started to fall apart. The council appealed to Florence and Florence took control. So we target with L2 and then we square and a knife in the back kills our man. And again. And I like to loot guards as they come along because you can sometimes get your throw knives back and sometimes get money as well. And there we go, that's the third one. And finally, <laughs> so I'm going to just loot these guards because I can. Not much, but every penny counts. No one over here, I think.
Good, good. Now we've kind of got a knife for that. Good, good. And now we're going back here to open the gate for Uncle Mario. Who doesn't seem to be coming in? Just a bit of a shame. To run and get him. Well done, Ezio. We're in. Sure. This way, man. Follow Mario again. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's the area up to now? Where to? No one knows. But something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Signal again when you should follow. Well, the best way to do this is to come up behind them. Either that or counter. I'm going to go just counter there, I'll come up behind this one. Right, I'm going to go back to the right. And finally... Ah, you okay. okay, so now we need to find Mario. But as you can see, just on the right hand side there, you can see a viewpoint that has just come into view on the minimap. So we're going to go and deal with that viewpoint because that will at least give us some idea of what's going on in San Jimmy Jarman, or whatever, however it's pronounced. Just read this. Torre Rognosa, connected to the 13th century Palazzo Vecchio del Podesta. The Torre Rognosa rose, rises 51 metres above San Gimigano. Podesta, power in English, was the title given to the appointed head of many Italian cities. The Palazzo Vecchio was the residence of the Podesta of San Gimigano. For about 100 years, until 1337, he moved across the square into the Palazzo Comunale. Why would the Podesta simply abandon tradition like that? Perhaps because the Palazzo Comunal has the largest tower in San Gimignano. Tower envy. Do not underestimate it as a force for change. But this is where the um, we find the viewpoint. These towers are a little bit of a pain. There are some. There are one or two towers that you can't actually climb yet because we need another skill which we haven't learnt but we will be learning it fairly soon and here we are and so let's synchronise this and that's the sync point done that's Ten or seventy-three down there. Um, we can climb down. Um, we will now go and find Mario. And again, I like to tend to go high because high seems to be the way to do this without getting too much opposition. So we come in here, and that's where we're aiming to, right it's down there. That uh, oh, oh, took some damage, didn't it? Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Okay, so Mario's under attack. So we will come over here and we'll start helping Mario. As I say, that count move is just awesome. Ah, 
I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See the justice, sir. Uh, okay, so he doesn't want us to uh, continue this fight. So we're going to go and find Vieri de Pepsi. And we're going to find this tower. We'll find another tower so we can read about that. And Rebecca says there's one of the strange glyphs on this. In a city famous for its towers, the Salvucci family, in a display of 13th century might, erected not one but two. And not only did they erect two, they built them to be taller than the ruler of San Gimigiano, the Podesta's tower, despite a law made in 1255 that prohibited such an act of blatant brick-and-mortar style aggression. Outraged, the Podesta forced the towers to be cut down until they were smaller than his. Gotta love that tower, Envy. Gotta love that tower envy. Okay, so we are now heading over to find Vieri. And Vieri is up on the top of that tower, I believe. So we shall find out where he is in a moment. We're going to jump down here when Ezio wakes up. There we go. He's not on the top of that tower at all. He's over there on the top of that tower. That's where he is. But not yet, he's not. Because first we have to get to the waypoint that he want, they want us to get to, which is over here. A cutscene that is coming up right now. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we finish. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Commandante! Commandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Oh, tough words from Vieri de Pazzi. He's gonna be sorry. So we're gonna head straight to go and kill Vieri de Pazzi. The mercenary to do with everybody else. And we're gonna run over here. Oh, much to the a couple. I got in my way. I like to kill the guards. with me never break me if that goes I will answer oh. run away from me oh no he's escaped because he's gone that way can't go that way right let us go and sort out Vieri de Pat we're gonna climb up
Now bear in mind you'll be notorious if you come back to send you down. I'll make sure your death comes quick. Ooh. Ooh. I like to take out the guard first. Yeah, he does attack quite often. And you just have to counter him. You're finished, Ezio. You hear me? I think no, you're finished, finished Vieri. Twice before doing something you'll regret. Huh? Fatti sotto. I will do whatever you say. Ah, there we go. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? A pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. So Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But, I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. So that is the end of what goes around. And we've acquired a knife felt. And we got a codis page out of that as well. And we get the letter to Francesco de Pazzi. And we've learnt how to throw knives. So quite a, quite a lot done in this mission. And we're going to find ourselves transported back automatically to Montegioni. which we have done, and there's the villa in front of us. But before we finish this video, I thought we'd just buy some equipment. So we'll go here, we've got enough money, we'll buy some armour. So, first of all, we'll go buy a leather chest guard, I think. Which gives us a little bit more protection when we're fighting. And we'll also buy a weapon, let's buy the Venetian Falcon, I believe. To buy. Yeah, we'll buy that. And that will do us for now. 
I suppose we have only a field to become. So, we've got a little bit more health now again. Now we run up the stairs to join Mario. But we won't join him in his celebrations quite yet. We'll wait until the next video to do that. Because um, that starts off the next mission straight away. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Requiescat in Pace.